here's Karen Allen. What are you doing here? My name's Jake Quinlan. I'm a friend of Catherine's. Quinlan? Huh? <laughs> what? what? How is Catherine? Is she going to be all right? It doesn't look good. Her consciousness is deeply withdrawn. What? Re withdrawn? What's that mean? It means her mental processes, her memory, the basic building blocks of her personality are That's not what withdrawn means. You mean she's in there, but you can't reach her? That's a best case scenario. We haven't yet diagnosed her psychic damage. I also don't know where she is. <sighs> Do you need a cough drop or a throat lozenge, by the way? Well, is she going to be all right? It doesn't look good. She's still in triage. We're going to just have to wait and see. <laughs> You're the best doctor I've ever met. What are you doing for her? I'm not doing anything for her as long as I'm standing here talking to you. Why what don't were you, you doing for her before I came in? How did the Ripper do this? It's hard to tell. She had some minor contusions on her head. Nothing fatal, but you never know with head injuries. We won't know anything until we can get it. <laughs> also, she's turned into a clipboard. This is a good thing to tell, like, friends of the patient. <laughs> I'm not sending know. anyone yeah. in there until I've had a chance to fully map her psychic damage. Now, what? Uh -huh. if you don't mind. I mind. Damn. What was that a signal for I somebody to survive the attack? <laughs> Stormtroopers come in. Right. Maybe she fought him Fuck off. this place up. More likely someone or something interrupted the Ripper before he could finish. Do they have enough room to hang coats <laughs> over there? I guess the conversation's just over. Oh. Duh. <laughs> Oh, uh, I'm not gonna talk to that guy. Forget that. Wait, maybe I am. Oh, uh, am I drunk? No, I, no he's over on the left. Uh, oh. uh, Look who it is. You had to check on Miss Powell? Yeah. It's Paul Who's Giamatti. Oh my god, it is. Is there anything yeah. to do for her? She's in good hands. And she'll be in even better hands once Dr. Burton allows us to treat her. Don't tell anyone else I was in this, please. Was there any hope for Catherine? Not at the way we're going. We haven't even established an etiology, let alone begun to treat it. We've downloaded megabytes of fragmented images, sensations, memories. Megabytes of it, health. wow. Paul Giamatti again plays a total hunk. Well, there's an image on one of the monitors in the lab that's displaying an image we retrieved from Catherine's short-term memory. Now, she saw the person who attacked her, but in this condition, her mind can only assemble an extremely distorted image of him or her. Well, can we make it clear and maybe use a computer to fill it out? No. Catherine's brain will have to produce the image. Why is this guy telling us more than the, the doctor? The only way to help Catherine is to restore the memories and personality the Ripper destroyed. This is actually how he got the role in Sideways. Hmm. What are Dr. Burton's plans for treating her? <laughs> if she has something in mind, she hasn't told me about it. She's blocking everything except the most conservative treatments. We've started to assemble data mm -hmm. on patient's past. We're maintaining life support. That's it. So fucking what? I mean, she doesn't know what to do. I thought she was the best in her field. She's one of the best. I don't know. What that holding clipboards though. Not There's something here. She's not telling us. Again, why would you just tell the patient or like <laughs> the, the family friends this? Anything? No, not to me. He's got one of those faces. Dr. Burton's the attending physician. Although I have noticed that scary-looking detective who checked Powell in keeps coming. You back. just met this guy. And Burton got into it yesterday. They had a fight. Oh, that's an understatement. They look ready to kill each other. God knows what it was about. Thank you, Paul Giamatti, for being such a gossip. I don't understand this. How can you rebuild Catherine's memory? Well, the way we always do in a case like this. Make shit up. We assemble all the data we can. <laughs> Imagine a broken past. coffee cup, if you will. Life experiences, food she likes to eat, favorite movies, information on who her friends were. Then we upload all that back into the brain and hope that it triggers enough associative reactions to restore her memory. What are the odds of this working? Zero percent. very high. I mean, we may not retrieve everything, but we should get around 90% or something. We can make up the rest. What can I do to help restore that image of the Ripper? Dig up everything you can about the Ripper. Especially anything Catherine knew about the case. And of course... Also, help her with her regular case. memory. Until Dr. Burton allows us to send a data angel into her brain, but we'll worry about a, that later. A okay. data angel? <laughs> do you think Catherine's <laughs> notes on the Ripper will help restore her memory? What the fuck is that? Wouldn't be ideal. That's a makeup. Except what you show me seems to be scrambled. And Dr. Burton still hasn't allowed anyone to deck into the patient's mind. Right. <laughs> now if you'll excuse me, I have to write on my tiny paper. 
gonna go right in. You don't mind if I snoop around this room while you're in it, do you? <laughs> I mean, the cops don't seem Looks to like mind it when I do it. Yeah. Could be worth looking at. Ergonomics in the future don't make sense. Our options are pretty limited here. I tried direct cortex stimulation. It's risky, but there's a chance of it working. It's too risky. We could lose her that way. Well, we could try inserting data angels for a diagnostic. There's no risk in that. I disagree. We've no idea what's left of her natural defenses. The trauma could have made them even harder to penetrate. All right, look, then let's you are run no Dr. The House lady. program so we can take a stall profile and a cortical landscape, and we know what we're dealing with. You mean that Do those sound like medical words? Why not? Because I said so. I want her to stabilize before we introduce any kind of foreign code. Now, thanks for the consultation, but that's my decision. Now, can you please stop standing so close to me? <laughs> How much more stable does she want the woman? She's in a coma. Personal What's space, wrong? people! She won't do anything. We're supposed to watch this patient die? She's in charge. There's not much we can do. Anyway, let's stop recording this. Then <laughs> they kiss. Oh. Our options are pretty limited here. Okay, enough of that. <laughs> why, why is there, like, a gamepad under the keyboard, <laughs> too? <laughs> Alright. That was a total waste. Now to slowly trudge. Uh. So even if we find any evidence on the Ripper that could trip her memory, um, Marion's not going to let us do it because reasons. Mm-hmm. Just regard that swing set again. And the one wheelchair. Yeah. So in this entire hallway, there is one room for a patient? Yeah. Well, okay. there's the morgue for most of the other patients. <laughs> there, there's the uh, Freemason symbol on the wall there, I guess, sure. too. No one will get to this elevator. All right. Um. Bing. So look at some dead people for inspiration. I think that sounds like a plan. Okay. Just lean our head back here. Yeah. Ah, oh, the relax. future. I just gotta take it in. <laughs> Whoa. There's like no glass or anything on the outside of that elevator. Nobody got their hand clipped or anything. No. Ever. No lights in the morgue or anything, why not? <laughs> oh, we just Whoa, barged hey. in, wow. <laughs> How about some liveliness in the morgue, right? <laughs> hey! You mind if I go check out all the bodies? <laughs> I just come see what you're doing? Do I have to, like, sterilize or anything, or can we just... Hmm? Are you just looking at a pair of legs and that's it, or...? Hey, Vic. What's for lunch? Hey, Quinlan! Oh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Comedic relief. They working you hard? Hmm. Working me like crazy these days. Hey, is this Renee Stein? Are you kidding? You were at the crime scene. You saw her inside splattered everywhere. Yeah, I guess is that. Is that a virtual boy he's yeah, wearing on his head? This woman was married. For Cyclopses? Yeah, this was a businessman away on a trip for three weeks. He gets paranoid that his partner's putting a term while he's <laughs> I, gone. I didn't, I'm not so catching any of this. <laughs> Stuff like that, that's why I never got married, you know? Uh, have my chances, though, you know? Mm -hmm. Anyway, good talk, I guess. <laughs> Any luck figuring out the Ripper's weapon yet? I'm completely stumped. <laughs> I did every test on these tips. I mean, a computer cross-matched the wounds with every kind of blade imaginable. Nothing. I mean, it's like a cross between a Vegematic and a diamond cutter. Come on, Vic. Something must have cut these people open. Nothing these computers can find. Now, you don't believe me? Look at those control panels by the steps. <laughs> well, at least we're being invited to snoop around now. Yeah, that's something. You hear about my partner? Who's that? Catherine Powell. She was attacked by the Ripper. Somehow she got away. She's upstairs in a coma. Dr. Burton's treating her. Oh, your friend's in good hands. Burton's a good doctor. Can we bring her down here yeah, to save time? Suck, she'll probably call <laughs> her a secret weapon. What's that? A guy named Joey Falconetti. Joey Falconetti. That's a stupid name. Who's Joey Falconetti? Cyberspace expert that Burton uses on all Cyberspace expert? Also known by Some his cyber experts handle, in the Falconetti. future. Get it? Crazy guy. Likes looking at the bodies. I'm surprised she hasn't called him in yet to look at your friend. What do you mean? Oh, he's the best there is on human to human decking. She usually calls him in on that kind of stuff, but not on mm -hmm. the ripper work. Where can I find this Falcon Eddie? Difficult guy to find. Burton usually goes to a guy named Gamut Nelson. 
He passes the time at the Cafe du Champ. Du Champ? Du Champ. You can find him there. All right. Well, good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Anyway, now to check out your control panels like you suggested. Right. Here's an or... isolation of just one of the organs from this body. The lines indicate the many cuts made. The what? sheer number of cuts isn't the only amazing thing, though. Watch this. All of those cuts happen simultaneously. Human hand can't move that fast. And it was like this for every organ in the body. Is he just narrating for us now? This is awesome. I tapped the nerve memory of this victim and fed it into the simulator so that I could reenact the attack. Million dollar piece of hardware. And look what it gives me. Shit. Jesus. <laughs> like a lens flare. Like... Of course the Ripper is Photoshop after Notice all. the path of the cut. Not one centimeter off. I'm not even at the body like yet. Stop. Now, no human could have done this. Because humans aren't strong enough? It's not just strength, it's precision. He's cutting through skin, muscle, bone. No way this cut could be so neat. I'll tell you what else is weird. There are no traces of fabric in the wall. I'll tell you what else is weird. I haven't contracted disease from smoking and eating around other people. 